Hey there, friends. Let's have a little chat about why being scared is a big no-no when you've got God on your team. First up, remember when God was handing out spirits, he skipped the fear one. Instead, he gave us a superhero spirit that's power, love, and a brain that thinks super clearly. So when you feel scared, just think of wearing a superhero cape because God's given you that kind of power. Now imagine you're in a pickle, a really big pickle, but guess what? God's like the ultimate superhero coming to save the day. The Bible says so. So when you're feeling like a tiny mouse in a big, big world, remember God's got your back and he's way bigger than any pickle. Thirdly, Jesus once told his buddies, don't sweat the small stuff like food and clothes. Look at the birds. They don't run a farm or a fashion store, but they're doing just fine because God's their top chef and tailor. And guess what? You're way more important to him than birds. Got a problem? Tell God about it. It's like writing a letter to the best problem solver ever. And the cool part, you'll get peace in return. The kind that makes your heart feel like it's sitting in a comfy, cozy chair. Number five, remember God's the boss. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yup, even you're part of it. So when you're worried, just picture God juggling the planets. He's got everything under control. Next, being scared is a no-go zone for us. It's like God's given us a do not enter sign for fear. He's like a big, strong bodyguard, always by your side. So when fear knocks on your door, just say, Sorry, no room here. Number seven, when things get super tough, remember God's like a super cozy fort. You can run to him and he'll keep you safe and sound. He's like the best hide and seek spot ever. So there you have it, seven super reasons to kick fear out of your life. Remember with God, you're stronger, braver and never alone. High five to that. Let's take a fun little journey through why worrying is like carrying an umbrella when there's no rain. Totally unnecessary when you've got God on your side. God's like a super GPS. Ever feel lost like you can't find your socks? Well, God's like the best GPS out there. He doesn't just find socks. He makes paths in deserts and rivers in dry places. Isaiah 43, 19 says, he's doing a new thing, like turning deserts into water parks. God's your superhero sidekick ever watched a superhero movie and wished you had a sidekick? Guess what, you do. God's like the ultimate superhero. He's always ready to swoop in and save the day. No villain, aka worry, stands a chance. The worry monster, imagine worry as a little monster that loves eating your happy thoughts. But here's the secret, it can't stand laughter and trust in God. So every time you trust God, that little monster goes on a diet. The Bible is like a daily no-worry pill. It is filled with no-worry reminders about 365, that's one for each day. Like Matthew 6, 27 says, can worrying make you taller? Nope, but it can give you a headache. Ever need a hand to hold when crossing the street? God's always holding your hand, even when you can't see it. Isaiah 41.13 says, he's telling us, don't be scared, I've got you. Imagine you have a toolbox. Instead of hammers and nails, fill it with prayer, trust, and giggles. When worry knocks, open your toolbox and watch it run away. Worrying about tomorrow is like trying to eat soup with a fork. It doesn't work. Focus on loving, laughing, and building beautiful memories. That's the real treasure you leave behind. Remember, friends, life is like riding a bike. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes bumpy. But with God, you've got the best training wheel. So pedal on with a smile and a prayer and let God handle the rest. High fives for a worry-free ride with God. Remember how God is like a superhero. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, He didn't give us a spirit of being scaredy cats but of superhero powers, like love, strength, and super smart brains. It's like having a superhero suit under your clothes. Ever heard of Moses and the Red Sea GPS, or Daniel's sleepover with lions? 
These Bible stories are like God's highlight reel, showing He's always there for us, even when things look super tricky. Deuteronomy 31 not 8 says, He's like the best teammate, always there and never hitting the unfriend button. It is best that we see the world through God's super goggles. Sometimes we see things like we're peeking through a keyhole, but God sees the whole picture. Isaiah 55, 9 reminds us his thoughts are way higher, like a giraffe's view compared to a turtle's. So when things look messy, remember, God's got the bird's eye view. Our faith is our superpower gear. Letting go of worry isn't about sitting back and eating popcorn. It's about switching from our try-hard mode to God's can-do mode. Matthew 6 tells us, why worry about what to eat or wear when God's got our shopping list covered? We have access to a worry-busting toolkit. When worry tries to crash your party, you've got some cool tools. First, there's prayer. It's like calling God on speed dial. Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 says, it's the best way to swap worry for peace. Second, there's the Bible, your personal flashlight for dark days. And don't forget the Holy Spirit. He's like your invisible best friend, always there with the right advice. So friends, remember life with God is like a roller coaster. It has ups and downs, but it's a lot more fun and less scary with him in the driver's seat. With prayer, faith, and a big dose of giggles, you can say bye-bye to worry and hello to adventure. Keep smiling, keep praying, and keep trusting. God's got this. Once upon a time, in a world much like ours, there was a little village called Tranquility. In Tranquility, the things were mostly peaceful, but the villagers often found themselves worrying about this and that. It was like they had a worrying festival every day and everyone was invited. Among them was Timmy, a young boy with a big heart and an even bigger imagination. Timmy loved to explore, but he also found himself tangled in worries. One day, while strolling in the woods, Timmy stumbled upon an old dusty book. It was the Bible and oh, was it full of tales and wisdom. Timmy started reading and couldn't stop. He learned about a man named Moses who faced a huge sea and didn't know how to swim. But God made a path right through it. Then there was Daniel who had a sleepover with lions and came out without even a scratch thanks to God's protection. Wow, Timmy thought, God really does have some cool tools up his sleeve. He also read about peace, a special kind, like having a superpower to stay calm. John 14, 27 talked about this peace that wasn't like the one you get from a nap or a piece of cake. It was a peace that stuck with you, even when you were worrying about your piggy bank being empty. Timmy realized something important. God's peace was like a superhero cape. You couldn't see it, but it was always there making you brave. He decided to share this discovery with his friends. Guys, listen. Timmy gathered the village kids. We don't have to worry about the monsters under our beds or the thunderstorms. We've got God's peace, like a superhero cape. The kids listened eyes wide. They'd never thought about it like that. Timmy told them about Moses, Daniel, and the peace that Jesus promised. They all decided to try this peace cape on for size. From that day, tranquility lived up to its name. The villagers, led by their kids, learned to let go of worries. They remembered that God was like a master chess player, always several moves ahead. They started seeing life as an adventure, with God as their guide. Every night before bed, they would remind each other, don't worry about tomorrow. Just like our superhero cape, God's got us covered. And with that, they would sleep peacefully, knowing that in the big story of life, they were in good hands. So the village of tranquility became a place of laughter, faith, and peace, all because a little boy found a big book with an even bigger message, and they all lived worry-free, happily ever after. 
We have access to the same Bible, the same peace and faith. Let's pray together and give our worries and fears to God. Let us join our hearts and voices in prayer to our Heavenly Father, who loves a good chuckle as much as He loves a sincere heart. Let's pray with joy and faith, for our God delights in our happiness as much as in our reverence. Dear Heavenly Father, oh, how wonderful and kind you are. Today, we come to you with smiles and hearts full of thanks. Lord, you know everything, like where we left our socks and why ice cream melts so fast. And in your wisdom, you remind us not to be scaredy cats. Thank you for being our super strong fort. When things go bump in the night or when our piggy banks feel a bit light, we remember Psalm 46. It says, you're our refuge and strength, and that's cooler than a superhero, Lord. We're choosing to laugh in the face of worries, like when we read in 2 Timothy 1.7, we're reminded that you didn't hand out spirits of fear, but of power, love, and sound minds. That's like giving us spiritual muscle, big hearts, and brainy brains. In those moments when we feel like tiny ants under a big sky, your word in Isaiah 35, 4 whispers, be strong, fear not. And just like that, we puff up our chests and say, yep, God's got this. Dear Jesus, we know sometimes our knees wobble and our hands get all shaky. But then we remember Joshua 1.9, where you tell us to be strong and courageous. That's like getting a heavenly high five, boosting our courage levels to super high. We're dropping all our worries, fears, and what ifs at your feet, Lord. We're imagining them as balloons floating up, up, and away to you. We're casting our cares because you care for us, as 1 Peter 5, 7 says, and that's way better than keeping them. Father, when things get all wobbly and wonky, remind us that you're with us, just like 1 Chronicles 28, 20 says, help us to remember that you're not just watching from a distance, but right here, giving us a thumbs up. Now we're standing firm, knowing that fear has no place here. We're wearing your promises like superhero capes, ready to take on the day. Thank you, Lord, for being our rock, our giggles in the rain, and our biggest cheerleader. Heavenly Father, thank you for being the creator of laughter and joy. We come before you with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you for this beautiful day, for the sunshine, and even for the rain. It makes the ducks happy after all. Lord, we admit we're not perfect. Sometimes we forget where we put our keys or why we walked into a room. But we're thankful for your grace that covers our forgetfulness and our faults. Forgive us for the times we let worry crowd our thoughts like a flock of pesky pigeons. We stand against the spirits of worry, fear, doubt, and anxiety. We know they're no match for your mighty power. Like David against Goliath, we come armed with faith. Not a slingshot, but it works just the same. We ask you, Lord, to heal every little scrape on our hearts and minds. Mend us, Lord, like you're the divine tailor, stitching up our tattered spirits with threads of your love and peace. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding our thoughts and actions. May we reflect your love like mirrors, bright and shiny, showing your grace to everyone we meet. Protect us, Lord, from the fiery darts of the enemy. We know they're like rubber bands. They may sting, but they can't really harm us because you are our shield. Bless our loved ones, Lord. Wrap them in your peace that's so amazing it leaves us speechless. It's like a warm blanket on a chilly night, comforting and cozy. And for all who are listening, may they feel your presence, Jesus like a gentle breeze on a summer day, refreshing and uplifting. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. We trust in your promises and walk in your light, our hearts filled with joy along the way, because with you, life is an adventure filled with hope and joy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In a village nestled in the heart of a lush valley, there lived a group of people known for their boundless faith and cheerful hearts. Despite the challenges they faced, they held a deep belief in the goodness of the Lord and the power of prayer. They gathered every evening in the village square, where they shared stories, laughter, and prayers. 
One evening, as the sun dipped behind the rolling hills, the villagers gathered as usual. Among them was a wise elder named Matthew, known for his gentle humor and deep knowledge of the scriptures. As the villagers settled down, Matthew stood up and addressed them with a warm smile. After their prayer, the villagers opened their eyes, their hearts lighter and faces brighter. They knew that in the grand tapestry of life, each thread of laughter, joy and faith was woven by the hands of a loving God. And with that faith, they knew they could face any challenge that came their way, with a prayer on their lips and a smile in their hearts. I encourage you who are listening to be similar to this village. We hope that this message has left you feeling uplifted and connected. We hope today's message has filled your hearts with joy and your minds with peace. If it has, I invite you to drop a cheerful Amen in the comments. We believe in the power of sharing God's love. So if you know someone who could use a little joy, faith or a big dose of hope, why not share this message with them? It's like passing on a slice of heavenly cake. Everyone deserves a piece. And oh, don't forget to tap that like button. It's like giving a high five to Jesus. Also, subscribing to our channel is like joining a big happy family, where you'll find more messages to warm your heart and tickle your funny bone. We're starting a 10-day worry-free challenge. It's like a joyful journey where we'll say no thank you to worries and yes please to God's promises. Please share your amazing story of how the challenge have brought blessings in the comments. God is working wonders and we're so grateful. We invite everyone to join this special challenge. For the next 10 days, let's pray together with open hearts. Expect miracles big and small because our God is an expert at making the impossible possible. And don't be shy. Share your stories with us. Your experiences are like rays of sunshine, bringing hope and encouragement to others. Remember, our God is faithful, so keep trusting in His wonderful ways. You can feel free to leave their prayer requests in the comments. We will lift your prayers up to God. Even if you don't see a reply, know that your prayers are being heard in heaven. We stand together in faith, believing in God's perfect plan for each of us. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ fill your days with laughter, your nights with sweet dreams, and your life with endless blessings. Stay joyful, stay hopeful, and keep that faith shining bright.